We are closing in on tip-off here in Houston at the Final Four. We got the battle of the bands behind us, and it's going to be quite the battle on Saturday in Houston. You take a look at our first national semifinal, Florida Atlantic against San Diego State. What's the one thing you're going to be watching for? Defense, and lots of it. I think we're going to see a ton of missed shots in this game. Why? Because these defenses, attention to detail, is as good as it gets. Obviously, that's San Diego State's mantra. That's their culture. They're deep. They're athletic. They're experienced. And as for FAU, everyone understands their role on this squad. They've won a ton of games this year. They know their identity. I'm expecting a lot of misses in this game. First game, jitters. Neither one of these teams expected to be there. I expect a very, very low-scoring affair. Well, you know what FAU likes to do. They like to shoot the three ball. SDSU likes to defend the three ball. 17% from deep. They're holding their opponents. That's best in NCAA tournament history. That's pretty darn good. Boca Raton, Florida meeting up in the middle. San Diego State and Florida Atlantic tipping off the opening game of the Final Four in Houston just after 6 p.m. on CBS and Paramount Plus. Russ Thaler back here in the CBS Sports HQ studio with Sportsline's Chip Patterson and former Vegas odds maker Todd Furman. Guys, San Diego State, they kind of have a way of making their opponents play to their pace, and thus the total is relatively low. It's 132. Todd, is that even low enough for you? No, it's not. I actually make this total in the high 120, so I'm happy to go under the total here, and I think it's going to continue to trend down leading up the tip-off later today. When you look at San Diego State so far this tournament, They've even built on what I thought was going to be impossible to do. Outstanding three-point defense, holding their opponents to below 20% from beyond the arc. Now, ultimately, I don't think that's sustainable over the course of the next two games. But even if there's a positive regression for some of their opponents, I don't think it's something that puts this total in peril whatsoever. When you look at Florida Atlantic, it's a team that relies on shooting from deep, and they're going to continue to hoist high-volume jumpers from the perimeter, regardless of what San Diego State does defensively. And when we look at the Aztecs, they've been able to muck these games up against teams that want to push a little bit more aggressively. And I don't think this blueprint will be any different here. In my opinion, first team to 65 gets out of here with a victory. I'm happy to go under the total at 131.5. Yeah, and not a single team that San Diego State has played has hit 65 yet. No, we're going under this total. And uh, listen, he's Todd's a former odds maker. He's going to give you a better number. But anything, I don't know, 122, maybe that's when I get nervous. A whole 10 points of value. Uh, <laughs> look at what happened when FAU played Tennessee, right? Tennessee, another elite team at three-point defense. FAU won that game. But what was the total? It was 117 because FAU is a top 30 defense as well. San Diego State relies on a lot of mid-range jumpers. They try to get downhill and really get to the line or get some offensive rebounds. We're not going to have San Diego State lighting it up. And in the seven postseason games that San Diego State has played, that would be in the Mountain West Conference Tournament and the four games here in the NCAA Tournament, their opponents are averaging 56 and a half points per game. Uh, only two of those opponents have even gotten over 60. None have gotten to 65. I just keep looking at this. And I'm thinking that this is going to be uh, a big time rock fight between two very good defenses, a lot of bricks and under the total. Man, I'm listening to both of you and I'm thinking, how do you not take the under on this game? Let's pick a side now. Uh, Chip, we'll start with you. San Diego State giving two and a half, which to me kind of feels like pick them. What are you feeling when deciding which side to choose here? Yeah, I can see FAU winning this game. Feet to the fire. I'm going to take San Diego State. And it's because uh, FAU shoots tw about 26 three-pointers per game. But its performance in the tournament has not been good. And they haven't even had to play San Diego State yet. 36.5% uh, three-point shooting on the season. 31% here in this tournament. And you're also moving to NRG Stadium. They do a lot of pace and space. And while Vlad Golden has done a very good job of sort of being a force on the inside, especially against Kansas State, I just see this being a situation where FAU, if it goes a little bit cold, San Diego State is more than happy to try to win the game late at the free throw line. Uh, I'm going to take San Diego State and I'll lay the short number. And I'm with you here, Chip, but I'm going to go a slightly different route, and I'm going to lay the price with San Diego State and back them on the money line because I do think in a game that we both believe is going to be low scoring that you could have a scenario where San Diego State has a four-point lead and that back door comes swinging open for a Florida Atlantic team that has no quit. What I've liked most so far this postseason, other than the way the Aztecs have played defense, which has kind of been their calling card all year, is the way different players have stepped up. And the fact that San Diego State's been able to get to this point in the tournament with some of Matt Bradley's shooting struggles is a breath of fresh air. 
I mean, they went out there and defended tenaciously against Creighton, winning that game 58-57. And even when there was a standing eight count, so to speak, against Alabama after the Crimson Tide got hot in the second half, San Diego State was able to stabilize the troops. Brian Dutcher could get the offense going. And this Aztecs team just feels like it's got something special going. I know Florida Atlantic has been the Cinderella story, but the Aztecs have been one of the gold standards when you look at win-loss record going back the last 10 to 12 years in all of college basketball. They're finally getting the big stage and a chance to show their brand of basketball. I think this run continues en route to playing for the national championship on Monday. All right, let's recap. Chip and Todd, they are simpatico here. Taking the under on San Diego State here. Uh, taking on FAU. And then they both have San Diego State. Different ways. Todd's going with the money line, but they're both on it in the same way. Do you want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game? The highlights, the picks, the instant analysis. No yelling, no fake debates, no politics. Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.